these wonderful women and we are all wearing our white shirts today. We are getting ready to do our 2.23 miles for Ahmad. Today would have been his 26th birthday. If you guys don't know, Ahmad was brutally gunned down jogging in broad daylight by two white supremacists um, for jogging while being black. Um, my name is Ozzy Tusfai and I am on Supergirl. I'm Leslie Ann Brunt and I am on Lucifer. I am Ashley Murray and I'm on Katie Keen. I am Nafisa Williams and I'm on Black Lightning. I am Vanessa Morgan and I'm on Riverdale. I am Anna Jope and I am on Titans. I am Megan Tandy and I'm on Batwoman. I'm Candace Patton and I'm on The Flash. And we're just gonna each kind of take 20 seconds to share our feelings on this matter together um, as a group of, of women that are deeply affected by what's happened. Um, for my point, what I wanna say is a friend of mine brought this point to me earlier and I think it's important. I think people of other races that are seeing these violent crimes against black men and women um, on YouTube links and in towns that they have never been to and maybe never heard of, um, they come <laughs> to their computer and they feel sick and disgusted, but it feels very distant. I want you guys to know mm -hmm. that it's very real. And whether you're watching this because you know us personally or you feel like you know us, every single person on here has experienced racism. Racism is real. And the next time that you are with your black friend or your black neighbor or your black coworker, it's, un it's important to understand that this isn't a black issue. This is a human rights issue. This man was gunned down in the middle of the day while jogging. No one should have to experience that. And when we all stand together and understanding that this is a human issue, I think that's when real change will happen. And lastly, I just wanna say really quickly, if I could give a message to Ahmad's family, I would say that I am so sorry that this happened and I can't imagine what it must have felt like for him to be alone in broad daylight and to have been shot down like that by those two violent men. We stand with you, we lift you up, and we are fighting with you to make sure that not only are these men held accountable, but there's a guilty conviction for the murder that they committed, and that all black men and women that have been killed unjustly and violently this year, that it can't happen anymore, and that enough is enough. Mm, yes, I will um, echo that sentiment. I am a mother, and um, my first uh, thought went to Ahmad's mother, because losing, outliving your child is something, it's something that every parent I think fears, you know, so I want to start off by saying I'm so incredibly sorry that this has happened to your family and I send my love and condolences from my family to yours. <clears throat> I think I'm just tired and pissed and exhausted by seeing countless black men and women gunned down, um, in, in situations where we know a white person would never end up dead. We know that. So my message is to people, do not get desensitized by this, okay? Do not, do not get used to seeing these images. They should shock you every single time until they don't exist anymore. Mm -hmm. Until people, and people need to be held accountable. Do you wanna talk about having respect for the law um, you know, and, and, and why, why, what is, what is the other, you know, side of the story? There isn't any side. When you look at that video, that man was running down a street and he was shot by an ex-policeman and his son. And then it was covered up by the police. And then, and it was covered up by the DA. So don't get used to that. Use your voice, speak up. That's all I have to say. <sighs> um, you know, I, I didn't even know that Ahmad was killed in February. The fact that, you know, his death was only news to me a few days ago before his murderers were arrested. You know, when they said that he was arrested and I started reading more about it and found out that he was killed in February, I just don't... <sighs> I, I am tired. I feel like I feel this pressure 
to talk about it, but we're always talking about it, but it's always us just talking about it. And not only are we having to talk about it, we're having to fight to prove that it was racism, why someone was killed. Like, it's just, I'm so exhausted having to, I just like, I don't even have the words. I, I, I don't want to watch the video. I know what happened. Anybody who is charged by a complete stranger with a firearm is going to defend themselves. There's nothing that you can say to me that, that would make me change my mind about what he was doing. He was just alive. He was minding his business and he was alive and somebody had it out for him because they had a problem. It's not us. It's people who are racist. That's what needs to be talked about. And the same sentiment that we can talk about it all day, but that clearly isn't enough. We're not the only ones in this conversation. The conversations need to be had, even if they're uncomfortable. It's okay for people who are not black or brown to come up and ask, what can I do? Like, how, how do I, even just to say, how do I have this conversation with you because I'm scared or I'm nervous or I don't really understand, or even just to admit that you hadn't thought about it. Let's talk about that. Like, there needs to be a well-resounding conversation around all of this. That's, that's kind of where I'm coming from right now. Um, so I accidentally saw the video. I didn't mean to because I, nothing in me has any more strength to watch a video of another black man being gunned down like he's an animal. Um, but I will say that there are power in numbers and we can see that with all of the posting and all of the protesting and all of um, just the engagement on social media that we at least have an arrest that doesn't satisfy me and I know it doesn't satisfy any of us and we need to understand that this is just the beginning and that we still have to fight and we still have to post and we still have to make the phone calls and be proactive so that we can get an actual sentence. Um, I mean, I'm hurt. I'm hurt. Uh, I'm tired. I'm all of the things that we all are. And unless we come together as a country as a whole, then we won't see any change. And um just prayers and love to Ahmad's mother and his family uh, for being yet another number, yet another statistic. And just to let them know that we're with you and we're fighting with you as we speak and that we are, uh, we're crying with you, we're in pain with you, and um, we're here for you. And we won't stop until we get what we know is right, which is justice. And for me, I saw this video a week ago and the first time when I saw it for the first time I cried because and I feel like we're all of us were on this zoom right now because we are all experiencing racism I know that my brother could have been on that run my father could have been on that run that could have been him I do not feel safe in my own country I'm biracial I and uh, I consider myself a black woman I know white people look at me as a, a black woman as well and that's what I identify as and I do not feel safe in my own country. I don't feel safe for my brother. My brother has been called the N-word by cops. My dad has been called the N-word by cops, has been throwing stuff at him. And I just, I feel so helpless. And the reason I wanted to wear white today and run for him on his birthday is because as we've said, a, um, a conviction has not been made. So I don't want these guys coming out with a five year sentence for a straight up murder. Mm. Um, and I also wanted to encourage my white friends to post about this because all these racist white supremacists who, supremacists who are like, they're not following me. They're not following any of us. You know what I mean? I'm not, I'm not the person they're following on Instagram or Twitter or anything like that. Um, so I would like to encourage my friends to help us out and post and just because you might not identify with us, just because of the color of your skin and you're white. Um, as you said, this is a human issue. And if you have any type of heart and can feel for people, I feel like we all just need to come together and post and say that we're not gonna accept this anymore. 
Yeah. Um, my heart has been mm. very heavy ever since I saw this video. Um, and I have had trouble sleeping the past couple of nights and I've thought about Ahmad probably every 10 minutes since I've seen this. Um, the last time I felt like this was during what well, each time this happens and especially so this deeply was the Charleston shooting um, five years ago when nine people were shot during Bible study. And mm. I am so sick and I'm so tired and my heart is so heavy of having to see these injustices happen over and over again. And until we have a justice system that is just, this will continue to happen. And so I hope that we can all stand together and I hope that we can all recognize this for what it is and, and do our part. Yeah, this is, um, this has really hurt me so much. This entire situation surrounding this, it's awful. And I think, it's really important for people to understand that had this been two black men waiting on a street with guns out while this white jogger is just coming around and actually trying to go around the truck to avoid them and then they just get into a fight and they shoot them um they not only probably would have been shot it would have been breaking news and this situation has been completely treated so differently because it was two white men murdering a black man. The fact that they get to just be for 74 days, just chilling, you know, enjoying the pandemic, sipping on Starbucks or whatever, with no accountability, with no consequence to what they just did, that's a problem. And something like that is not going to change until we all come together and fight against this. This is not just a black issue. It should not matter what the color of your skin is. This should be an issue. You should be moved by this. You should be upset. So all I would just want to encourage for everybody is don't sit back if your skin is not like any of ours and you're like, all right, cool, it's their thing, they got it. No, 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 no. It's your issue too. This is all of us. So we all just want you guys to just come together with us and fight against this type of stuff. Yeah, I mean, lastly, I'll just say, you know, I saw the video and like you, Vanessa, my first emotional reaction is this looks like my father. This looks like my brother. This could be my nephew. We see our faces in Ahmad. And so we know this pain too deeply, but you shouldn't have to look like us to experience what a tragic, disgusting event this is. What more do we need to see? We've seen so many violent videos of black men and women being brutalized. And now you have a video, clear as day, broad daylight. This man is shot in broad daylight by two white men for doing nothing but getting exercise. What more do you need to see to be disgusting? That's my question. That's my question to my white friends. What more do you need to speak out? What video needs to come next? What video needs to happen for you to be disgusted in the way that we are, to be hurt in the way that we are so constantly. We need your privilege. We can only do so much. We only have so much power. So I'm begging you, if you have privilege, if you have power in whatever job you're in, whatever place in society you're in, if you have the privilege, you have to use it. I say this with love. I say it with so much love, but we need you. I ran my 2.23 miles today for Ahmad. I pray for his family. It could happen to any one of us. And I'm just praying for all of us. All these women here, I know all of you. I love you. We've had these conversations privately. I'm praying for your families and I hope that we don't ever experience this. And for every black family in America, family of color in America, um, we all know this pain too real and I just am, I'm so sorry. That's all I can say is that I'm just so sorry. All right, well, we are um, standing in this together and fighting in this together and we will run today for Ahmad and we hope that you guys all do the same. I love you, ladies. Love you too. Love you. Love you. Being racist. That's right. Where is the buzz? Where is the buzz you said was mine?